Pisces, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special, somebody go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below along with my husband if you haven't yet you must check him out he's over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we will be pulling a final message from the universe now what we see here is that there is a relationship at hand either you have one or you're desiring to attract one and either way there is seems to be some efforting put in place in regards to evolving or improving this said relationship or this attracting of a relationship. Meaning that you're focusing too much, beautiful soul, on the lack of what you desire within this relationship. Now the good news is you have all of the potential to manifest this relationship this potential relationship into exactly what you are looking for. Stability, happiness, sunshine, success. And the two of you, it feels like, are quite well off together. The two of you can be quite, quite successful together. Again, if this relationship is not currently in your awareness or in your physical reality, they're coming. And the thing is, is that we never really have to worry here too much here on planet Earth. Worry is paying a debt we don't owe because everything that is, that is, is based off of what we think about. So if we worry, it's basically like us out here for no reason, right? Why do you think you incarnated to planet Earth, Pisces? Why do you think? Probably to experience joy, love, uh, whatever else your heart desires, because whatever your heart desires is leading you towards your purpose, right? So our, our true heart's joys, the, hearts of the, the joys of our heart leads us to our purpose. So if having a relationship that is gratifying and successful and loving and communicative is something that leaves your heart feeling very joyful to think about, well, you want to focus on the feeling of joy. And then you want to bring that energy of joy towards this relationship or towards the idea of this relationship. And you want to create the relationship of your desire. So if you're single right now, understand that you have to create the relationship you want. So you want to visualize the outcome of what you're looking for, the feeling of it, how it feels to be together, um, you know, what activities you might do together, uh, your favorite dates, you know, these kinds of things. It helps to write it down because when we write it down, it helps just to get our thoughts out and kind of just clear away the clutter, if you will. But either way right now, we're, we're, we're in the current uh, in the previous uh, past here, we're, we're, we're efforting a little bit with this King of Pentacles in reverse. No need to try, just need to be you. You just need to be you, right? So this was the previous past. So whatever has happened in the past, understand that it's all valuable. Sometimes we think, oh, what a waste of time. Why did I say that? Why did I do this? Why did I waste all this time? Maybe even with a specific person. Why did I spend time with this person? Maybe it's for nothing. Are we supposed to be together, right? But understand that everything is intentional. And so the more that we can start to let go of if and, and oh no and when, and we just really accept where we are, that's when we start growing and building our lives. So one thing that the universe is coming forward with, and, and this is something that really benefits us, is keeping our space clean. And I know, right, we're thinking like, what a relationship, you know, how is this even relative? But for us empaths, specifically when we feel kind of uh, upset inside of us, we feel like something's wrong, we're feeling disturbed. And usually that is because we are um, feeling the lack, we are sensing the lack, what we think is lack. So I'm lacking this, I don't have this, I'm without. When we are feeling that, when we are sensing it, we feel really kind of a stuffy inside of us, right? There's a lot of chaos going on inside of us. When we clean our house, when we clean our space around us, it allows us to kind of feel the space very calm and very clean and organized. And then it helps us to kind of just gather our thoughts a lot more. So it really benefits us to to clean our house, specifically too, when we're thinking too much, to just to just do something. And if you got nothing else to do, just clean the house, right? Vacuum, wash the, the, the bathroom and stuff because just the act of moving will allow you to clear your mind, clear your energy and allow you to receive clarity. Now, here we are in the, in the present time, the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. And so you're now in the process of making decisions and deciding which gardens you're, lo you're longing to grow and which you're willing to nurture and 
and, and water. And that's really what it's about right now is that decision making of which gardens need watering. And that's the thing with gardens, specifically with relationships, careers, anything that matter. Everything is a garden. So whatever, you, however you choose to show up to that garden is going to depend on how well that garden grows, right? And so if you'd come with a uh, with an attitude of service, compassion, nurture, speaking nicely to the flowers, watering them, giving them the right fertilizer, the right food they need, you know, maybe, you know, weeding them and so forth, your garden is going to flourish, right? But if we are showing up to the garden with an attitude of, I can't believe I have to be here, look at all this mess, why don't the flowers just grow by themselves? Well, then we're going to, you know, have a, a tough time here with, uh, with, with, with wanting to be part of that environment. You know, we're not gonna we want to be there. If we're if we're just hating on the garden the whole time, we're not gonna wanna show up. It's gonna be like pulling teeth, you know, to, to go to this garden. And so you always wanna keep that in mind, right? If that if you don't have a will inside of you to water a garden and nurture it, it might be time, you don't necessarily have to say, we need to break up or we need to, I need to find something new. It might just be the kind of the awareness of like, hmm, I'm not really putting my my, uh, my my I'm not putting my best into this garden. So you know what? Maybe I need to let go of thinking about taking care of this garden specifically for right now, and I need to go tend to some other gardens I may have been neglecting. One of those gardens may just have been cleaning your house and keeping your space clean, because everything is a uh, system. Everything is um, anything that is energetically taking from you. You got to deal with that. But if there's big things going on in your life that need addressing, then sometimes the small things is what helps us navigate through those. those those bigger things uh, more easily. So your affirmation, beautiful soul, is I feel abundant and live a rich life now. I feel abundant and rich, live a rich life now. It's true. You want to feel like this right now. The only way that that is going to be possible is if you feel satisfied in your current situation, right? You got to feel satisfied with what you're doing in your life. And again, it's really, satisfaction comes from um, um, really um, just nurturing your gardens the way that you want to right? The way that you want to. So not stressing about it, not buying every single fertilizer in the store and just dumping it all in, hoping for the best, right? Not overdoing it. Really just, okay, here's the garden. Here's the outcome I'm looking for. Here's where it currently is, right? I know that I'm going to get it to this, but right now it needs this from me right? It's a step-by-step -step process. We can't be like, oh, I see that my relationship, or I don't have one, is failing. You know, I want to get married and have a family. Well, there's a big gap. You know, if you're focused on getting married and have a family, but the rela relationship isn't here yet, that's going to cause a lot of chaos inside of you, right? So you just want to focus on, you know what? I just want to build a, and create a foundation with somebody. Become best friends so that when we do have eventually evolved together, we're, we're, we have a friendship. We are able to communicate with each other because it's about respect, mutual respect, companionship, right? It's not always about getting something. It's about building and growing and nurturing, you see. And when that awareness comes in, that's when everything takes off. So right now, you're going to be going through a lot of motion. Spirit's going to be giving you a lot of unexpected opportunities, gifts. Take that leap. Whatever inspires you, whatever you feel called to do, do that for yourself because that's going to be that unexpected thing that's going to guide you towards what you're looking for. And we can see that is family, success, stability, and happiness with a particular special somebody. So at this time, don't fret. Don't worry. Just focus on what you're being called energetically in right now. Um, and try to let go of the things that you're not willing to, that you're not, you don't have a will for. Not that you're not willing, but you don't have an inner will for right now to show up and nurture. Um, because uh, here we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're just going to get burnt out, beautiful soul, uh, if you try to take on, if you try to nurture too many gardens um, without. Uh, taking care of the little things, right? The little things matter, right? Keeping your space clean, keeping yourself clean, keeping yourself happy, whatever you got to do. You got to make sure you have um, energetic uh, energy to take care of the things that leave you feeling confident with yourself. And that's always going to be, you know, feeling prepared, feeling grounded, feeling safe. And that's going to be having food, healthy food ready for, in the, for you in the fridge. It's going to be having your house clean. That's going to be having you clean, right? So that's going to be making sure that you're keeping up with, uh, you know, daily exercise. It's going to be making sure you keep up with, you know, again, not, uh, you know, not, not overdoing it in, in certain gardens and then la lacking the other gardens that are soup that are really necessary. Right. So focus that focus on there, right. And focus on the gardens that clearly need your nurturing. And then the other gardens, they will manifest, right. The other, the, the, everything else will manifest. It's, it's all a step-by-step -step process though. I promise you it will work. Just trust. Now your universe message is you will be surprised. Universe says, ask with love and their answer may surprise you. Yet, whatever their answer, be happy. And this may surprise them. Hi, it's love and I, the universe. 
So we'll let you we'll let you ponder with this one. Beautiful message. Universe loves you so much. You got nothing to worry about, Pisces. You just gotta relax. Focus on the thing, the gardens that need tending to, right? Focus on keeping your space clean. Focus on keeping the, you know, everything in order, organized. Organization will soothe our insides, right? When we're organized on the outside, we feel a little more like we can get it together on the inside as well. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.